This is Windows 10, the 64-bit version. Uh, I have a Perseus receiver connected to this machine with USB 3. Uh, I will demonstrate a peculiar thing about Windows 10 that could be the reason why it is often reported that USB doesn't work under Windows 10. Uh, I have a command here, L, to go to the place where I normally have the Linrad installation. Now, it's not here. I have moved it to the sub-directory, so I go there and then run it. Like this. And it's installed to receive uh, medium wave AM, so I press F to demonstrate that and click something. So this works fine. Now I press X. By doing so, uh, Linrad will stop and close the Perseus and it will unload the library and it will uh, wait for a command and I put B which means it will load the library again and download the firmware to the Perseus and then start and you can see here it works fine and I can exit by X and then escape. Uh, now I go to the parent directory and copy uh, the contents of the sub-directory to here. And this is the entire Linrad installation. And then I run Linrad from here. And press F to listen to the medium wave again. And so far it looks good. I press X to close and unload the Linrod library. And then I press B to, uh, inst to load and start it again. But this does not work. And after a while I see this error message. So I click the X here. And you can see it doesn't exit. Linrad.exe is still executing. And I can press Ctrl C or something. And it does not work. So I have to close this window and start the command prompt again. Uh, something is very odd. I can run here now SAV backslash and uh, F And then X and B. Stop and restart. No problem. Uh, who would expect something else? Now there is a magic trick I can do. Uh, rename. Oops. And then I run, I have just renamed the file. It's the same file. And I run linrad et. Et is Swedish, linrad1. And f. And x. And back. And now it works. Uh, Windows 10 never forgets that I installed an incorrect driver the first time I tried uh, Linrad on this machine 
uh, with the Perseus. I just then installed with the Zadig uh, the Win USB driver without telling Windows 10 that the configuration file of Perseus should be used. Subsequently, I uninstalled and removed software uh, a couple of times until everything was removed for the Perseus and installed properly. And that works uh, wherever I place Lindrad or whatever I call it, except if I place it with Lindrad.exe in the same place where I was running it with the incorrect driver installation. Windows 10 will never forget. So, uh, if you have this problem that the Perseus is not recognized, you may have this problem. Try to rename your executable and see if it works better. After you have made sure that the installation is properly done for the Zadig for Perseus. Now I will show the SDR console running with the Persis.exe. As you can see it's the 64-bit version. And I have Persis and I click start. So there is no problem. 